ओके हाय गुड मॉर्निंग सो टुडे वी कंटिन्यू द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द प्लास्टिक एनालिसिस ऑफ पोर्टल फ्रेम सो दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर बट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड only two mechanism and third mechanism is uh, remaining that is the combined mechanism so this is the frame okay so we will uh, see the third mechanism that is the combined mechanism combine mechanism okay so for combine we have to draw the combine mechanism first so combine mechanism everyone can draw combine mechanism is everyone draw see uh, we have saw same example earlier this is 2.5 meter this is 5 meter this is again 2.5 meter this mesh load is 50 kN and this span is 5.5 meter so here emp will be present why because this is the fixed support here here again emp will be present here again so uh, fixed support now this b point this b point the movement will not be present because here right angle as i told you in last lecture sorry <coughs> in last lecture here if the right angle uh, comes here then here moment will not be present so here move moment will be absent so here again uh, at this c point mp will be there and for this column again mp will be there for beam and column here two mps will be there again here mp will be there and here again mp will be there so see where i have shown the mps you can see here only at this point mp will not be present so here plastic hinge will form as we have seen here plastic hinge will form here one plastic hinge will form again here plastic hinge will form at this point also plastic hinge will form 1 2 3 and 4 here four plastic hinges will form in the combined mechanism so this is this angle is theta so this and this angle is same because here right angle will be present uh, if it here right angle is there then this theta and this theta will be same so this is theta again this theta so this distance is 2.5 meter this distance is 5 meter so here theta 1 theta 1 and here this distance is again 5 meter so here theta 2 theta 2.
so as compared to this 2.5 meter distance this distance is greater so if this is theta this is theta 2 because here theta 1 notation we have given earlier so theta 2 so similar to uh, last problem this is the combined mechanism so now calculate external work done So external work done. So it is again forced into displacement, but here two mechanisms uh, are combined. So two mechanisms that two, two mechanisms are beam plus column. These are the two mechanisms up there, beam plus column. So force into displacement plus again here force into displacement. So now force, force on the beam is 50 kN into rotation 2.5 into theta I mean, is displacement 2.5 into theta sorry this is the 2.5 meter distance and rotation is theta so this displacement is 2.5 into theta plus for column force into displacement for column this 50 kilonewton is the force so 50 into here displacement displacement is this 2.5 into this rotation so this displacement is for column this is vertical column A and B is the vertical column. This column is shifted up to the here B dash. Okay. So now here 50 into again 2.5 into theta. So this is 125 theta plus 125 theta is equal to 250 theta is the external work done. Are you getting everyone please external work done because of combination beam and column. So on the beam 50 kN load is there on the column again 50 kN load is there. So here we have shown the beam mechanism plus here column mechanism. So force into displacement. So force on the beam is 50. Displacement is 2.5 into theta. Plus force on the column is again 50 kN. The displacement is 50 into 2.5 theta is the displacement. So addition of these two is the 250 theta is the external work done. So calculate here internal work done IWD. So IWD is equal to so internal work done is nothing but force into again displacement but here force is nothing but the movement and displacement nothing but is the rotation that is theta so here see how many mps so start from a support so at a supports emp will be present because this support is the fixed support so this emp into rotation theta so first emp into rotation theta second here always movement will be absent in the combined mechanism as i told you in the last lecture due to this right angle here always movement will be the absent so then next here at this point load again mp into theta plus third here mp into theta one here theta one is there plus fourth here for beam this mp into theta 1 again plus here again for column mp into theta 2 and at this d support again mp will be present because this is the fixed support so again mp into theta 2 so addition of this 2 mp theta plus 2 mp theta 1 plus 2 mp theta 2 so these many the uh, so this is the internal work done
so now so here theta 1 theta 2 unknowns are there two unknowns are there so here we can write but but 2.5 theta is equal to 5 theta 1 for beam this is for beam and again so we have to calculate here theta theta is equal to now 2.5 into 5 theta so theta 1 is equal to here 0.5 theta so this is the value of theta 1 now similarly for column 2.5 theta is equal to 5 theta 2 for column you can see here here figures this is 2.5 theta and 5 theta 1 so here here again for column this is 2.5 into theta and here column height is 5 meters so 5 into theta 2 so 2.5 theta is equal to 5 into theta 2 so here theta 2 is equal to again 2.5 divided by 5 theta so theta 2 is equal to again 0.5 theta so here we got the theta 1 and theta 2 values in terms of theta Okay, so now by using virtual work method principle. By using virtual work method principle. So what virtual work method principle is saying? External work done is equal to internal work done so external work done is here 225 theta sorry 250 theta is equal to internal work done is 2 mp theta plus 2 mp theta 1 plus 2 mp theta 2 so this is the internal work done now we have to put the values here theta 1 and theta 2 so this is 2 mp theta plus 2 mp into 0.5 theta plus 2 mp into again 0.5 theta so here this is 2 mp theta plus this is mp theta plus again mp theta because this 0.5 into 2 is 1 so mp theta plus mp theta so here total value is 4 mp theta so here this is 2 m 50 theta so here theta theta get cancelled now what is mp so here, here MP will be how much? 62.5. So Neil has given. Again, one more. Anyone can tell me again? 62.5. Correct, correct. Sadi question. Correct. Okay. So 62.5 kilonewton meter is the moment. Okay. So in this way, we can solve the portal frame we can find the uh, plastic moment for the portal frame okay now we'll see one more example so example number three on the portal frame so this example asked in the examination hmm. this example is november 2016 asked in the november 2016 okay so write down a portal frame a portal frame a b c d 
portal frame ABCD hinged at A and fixed at D. A portal frame ABCD hinged at A and fixed at D and and subjected subjected to two point loads subjected to two point loads two point loads two w and three w two w and three w acting acting at midpoint acting at a midpoint of bc and at b at b respectively at b respectively take take ab is equal to l comma bc is equal to 2l bc is equal to 2l and cd is equal to l full stop to stop find find the collapse load find the collapse load w find the collapse load w and also check also check value of value of bending moment value of bending moment at plastic hinge at plastic hinge okay so this is the example asked in the 2016 uh, examination november 2016 means regular examination not for backlog okay so see we have to draw the uh, figure first or portal frame first by using the uh, problem statement here so the problem statement is here uh, a portal frame a b c d at a at a and sorry uh, hinged at a and fixed at d it means this is the portal frame hinged at a and fixed at d and subjected to two point loads 2w and 3w acting at a mid span of midpoint of bc so first point load 2w acting at a mid point of bc so this is the bc span so abcd is portal frame so at a it is hinged at d it is fixed bc on the bc point here written on the bc span at midpoint 2w is point load and 3w point load is at b is at b is at b this is the 3w point load see whatever i have drawn by using the problem statement please 
read the problem statement and verify whatever i have drawn is correct or not very easy but you have to read cap, uh, carefully so take ab is equal to l this ab is equal to l they have given ab is equal to l then bc is equal to 2l so this total value they have given 2l and this load is at mid span so this is l and this is l see whether it is correct total is 2l so this point load is acting at a mid point so this is l and this is l and again now cd cd is equal to l so this is l please verify whatever i have drawn if you fail to draw this portal frame then you are unable to solve the or analyze this frame karan ka tumcha jar फिगरच ड्रॉ करायला चुकलं तर पुढे काय किती जरी सॉल्व्ह केला प्रॉब्लेम तर त्याला काही मिनिंग नसणार आहे सो यू ड्रॉ केअरफुली डायग्राम विथ दी ॲज पर दी प्रॉब्लेम स्टेटमेंट सो प्लीज रीड अँड व्हेरीफाय व्हॉट एव्हर आय हॅव ड्रॉन इज करेक्ट ऑर रॉंग एनी वन कॅन रिप्लाय मी मी काढलेलं बरोबर आहे का स्वप्नील सादिक इज दिस करेक्ट ऐज पर दी प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट ओके सो नाउ वी विल सॉल्व दिस फ्रेम ओके गुड गुड यस ओके सो नाउ वी विल सॉल्व ऐज पर दी आवर प्रोसिजर okay so now while solving we have to calculate first the dsi degree of static indeterminacy so degree of static indeterminacy it means what number of support reactions number of support reactions minus number of equations number of support reactions minus number of equations so number of support reactions we have to find so here how many supports are there two supports are there a and b these are the two supports of the frame so but a support is the hinged support and d support is the fixed support so at hinged support a is the hinged support so how many reactions one vertical that is va one horizontal that is ha so why va vertical due to this vertical force why ha due to this horizontal force so va and ha vertical and horizontal two reactions are there at a point so similarly come to the next point uh, d point or next support that is d support so here again vertical vd is the vertical support reaction then hd is the horizontal reaction but this support is the fix the support so here moment will be there so here bending moment m will be there so here three reactions will be there at d and two reactions at a so how many total reactions this two plus three it means five reactions are there so number of support reactions number of support reactions we have calculated depend upon the your fixity the so this support is the hinge the support and this support is the fixed support so always it is remember at hinge supports there will be two reaction and at fixed support there will be three reactions so 3 plus 2 five reactions are there minus number of equations so any structure if we have to keep this structure into stability or stable condition at least minimum three equations we have to solve which are these three equations summation v is equal to 0 summation h is equal to 0 and summation m is equal to 0 so if structure 
we have to keep this table then these three equations we have to solve so at so this year number of equations are three now degree of starting indeterminacy is the two here now next point number of plastic hinges number of plastic hinges so what is number of plastic hinges dsi plus 2 so as i told you why this two value is there so minimum two plastic hinges should form here then and then your you can uh, able to analyze this portal frame at this b support and c support b support and c support plastic hinges should form so this two is for b and c ya tikani b la ani c la plastic hinges form while at spajet then and then you can go for the plastic analysis for this frame ya tikani doni tikani hot nastil tar this frame ka asel stable if the plastic hinges will not form at b and c means here moment will not be generated mp plastic moment will not be generated at b and c then your structure will be the stable if the structure will be stable then there is no meaning for the plastic analysis plastic analysis kadi karal janar hai ja vele hinges form hotil tyach vele plastic analysis will be there it means collapse load and plastic moment will be there jar hinges form nahi jale tar te structure stable stable asnar hai are you getting इलास्टिक एंड प्लास्टिक बिहेवियर इलास्टिक मध्य स्ट्रक्चर स्टेबल प्लास्टिक बिहेवियर मध्य गलैप्स वोलैप्स लोड कोलैप्स मुंट मैं मुंट एंड कोलैप्स लोड तो क्या हो रहा है अगोदर प्लास्टिक हिंजेस फॉर्म वाइल लगता प्लास्टिक हिंजेस कूट फॉर्म होता है एट कंटिन्स सपोर्ट्स एट पॉइंट लोड एट फिक्स सपोर्ट्स द प्लास्टिक हिंजेस वील फॉर्म आर यू गेटिंग so this two for b and c always b and c at this two point the plastic hinges should form so here d dsi so dsi is 2 so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so minimum four number of plastic hinges here will form ha huh. anyone can tell me at which location see the figure where this four plastic hinges will form anyone can tell me now put into chat box ha huh. which are these four points in this figure these four plastic hinges will form it is simple jitha apan moment dakhonar hai tithe plastic hinges yenar hai ha what are these locations as i told you earlier कुटो कुटो फॉर्म होता ओके स्नेहल राउत हेज गिवन यू एंसर मी करेक्ट स्नेहल from your side correct so four plastic hinges are there so i want four locations here vaishnavi you have given here two locations only or two supports yes amul power has again given me correct answer snehal raut also given correct answer vaishnavi you can you, you have to see again you have to add this given supports are correct from your side whatever given two sub points are correct but more two points you have to identify okay good good okay so two three students gave me answer these are the correct answer correct it means this four plastic hinges means at b this is the continuous support here will be present this 2w is the point load here plastic hinge will form this c is the again continuous supports here plastic hinge will form and d is the fixed supports here here again plastic hinge will form at a 
plastic hinge will, will not form because this is the hinge support. So B, 2W, C and D, these four are the points where plastic hinges will form. Are you getting? So this is the very important identification is here. Whether you are solving beam or you are solving portal frame, you have to identify the locations of plastic hinges. And that's the kind of movement. If you want to draw a mechanism, you can understand the plastic hinges locations. Are you getting? If you are solving the, this, whatever I am writing and you are solving, in this way you only solving the as, uh, numerical part. But what we have to keep in mind that is the very important point, part is the mechanism. Tumala mechanism draw karta ala pajan. Mechanism draw manjets plastic hinges kuta form unar, EMP kuta present asnar, he ala ki ya problem sarka sopa kahina. Are you getting? Okay. So simply 10 marks you will get. Or sometimes 6 or 7 marks this example will be asked. Okay. So this example in examination 10 marks asked. Okay. And number of 3 is the number of possible mechanism the third point is number of possible mechanisms again this chapter is very important related to any competitive examination gate examination two to three marks question will be asked on this uh, whatever till we have learned Upon Jatta Branchipla, Chavar Tis to Mala, plastic hinges, moments, Chavar Tis don't question each other's don markale, cake markale. Total char markala chapter for Toha Gatla, Kyokela Gatlatter, Punet, the Chavarti don't your team markala his question as well. So it is so easy. So number of possible mechanism is the number of plastic hinges. minus 2. So here number of plastic hinges are 2, minus 2 is the 2. Okay, so this is the uh, analysis before the solving the uh, actual mechanism. So here two mechanisms at least we have to solve that is the beam and sway and addition of this beam and sway or column is the combined mechanism, the third mechanism. So we will solve these two mechanisms first and then we will solve the third mechanism that is the combined mechanism. <coughs> 